This America of ours is not lost. It's not even close to being lost. But some very bad people have done it a great deal of damage. And it is our job starting now to begin the long work of restoration. Thank you. And the people who have to put it back together, well, many of us are in this room. When people fear their government, there is tyranny. When the government fears the people, there's liberty. We have a constitutional crisis in America, and a desperate one. You can ask anybody in this audience and even outside. Everyone knows in their gut that there's something wrong in Washington, D.C. Terribly wrong. Uh, this was the Barack Obama administration's plan to use the, ex, uh, the entirety of the United States government and its capabilities to support the overthrow of friendly allied governments across the Middle East and North Africa and to replace them with Muslim Brotherhood the regimes. The document was written, was promulgated in August 2010. Nor has President Trump yet agreed to declassify and to release the content. Yes. Slavery, alive and well and occurring again in Libya today because of what the Obama administration did there. Coming out of the Catella trial, what have we learned? A few things. First, there was a total failure of Secretary Clinton to provide adequate security for the compound. Total failure. And the Obama administration chose to engage known terrorists during and after the Libya revolution, some of whom apparently were tasked with guarding the Benghazi facilities, our facilities. At best, this is total incompetence. At worst, and what I believe, is it's treason. You have the media, and they are so, I don't even call them biased anymore, they're corrupt. You know, where's the grand jury? Where's the special prosecutor looking into all this? Serious, real crimes, and are these people ever gonna be held accountable? Lock her up, what happened to that? That's why it's so important that you people are here getting educated to educate us, unfortunately. You know, there's about 40,000 pieces of legislation, resolutions, or papers that come out. There's a lot of busy work up in Washington, D.C. A lot of busy work. It's not productive work. And uh, we need to change that, and that's one of the reasons we ran against John Boehner, and that's why leadership needs to change again, in my opinion. And I really look forward to hearing from Claire Lopez, a dear friend, and from Kevin Shipp, and from Dinesh D'Souza, a little bit more about what has happened to bring our nation to this point, and what can we do as good citizens and patriots to ensure that we right this ship.